this is Kate with the St. Louis Science Center Science Off Center team here with another fun at home science experiment that you can do. One of my favorite types of science is cooking. Yes, I said cooking because cooking is an everyday form of chemistry. Now when you do a science experiment, generally you're testing one difference in a control. So we have a control and then we have a variable. Today our variable is going to be baking soda. Baking soda, when you mix it with vinegar, as we know, creates CO2. It's a rising ingredient. It creates a gas and it helps something to rise. Well, I have two cake mixes here. To one, I'm going to add baking soda, and the other, I'm not. Both of the mixtures are the same, except for our variable, the baking soda. I'm going to mix this in, put it in some cupcake pans, cook it for a little while, and then we will see the results. So we've baked our cupcake batter and you can tell a very obvious difference between which one had baking soda and which one did not. You can tell that this one's a lot fluffier, a lot lighter, and this one is smaller and a lot more dense. I can even feel a difference when I pick them up, that this one's lighter and this one's more dense. Um, think about why that happened. Which one had baking soda and which one didn't? I'll give you a hint. This lighter one was the one that had our variable, our baking soda, in it. Um, so try this experiment at home. Let us know how it goes. Maybe instead of baking soda, use baking powder. Maybe you could also do an experiment with eggs. Make a batter with eggs and without eggs. What's the difference? Let us know at scienceoffcenter.org.